Again, welcome to today's class. This is All I Must TV. As we all know, and today we have this nice um, challenge before us here. The question is how to solve the ln of x equal to x. What is the value of x that to satisfy this challenge here? So if you've not subscribed, subscribe. Because that is the only way you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we take our solution. So look at the question here. We have here ln of x equal to x. Of course, for us to get x here, we have log this e. So we just have to introduce e to the system. Okay? So this is going to give us here, we have um, um, our e to the power of ln of our x equal to our e to the power of x here. All right. We all know the law which says that if you have your e to the power of your ln of, let's take a, this is equal to our a. We all know that, right? Because this is ln base e. So this, this will leave the system. So give us our a, yeah. So if we apply this law, yeah, then what happened? This, this will leave the system. So we left it our x here. So we now have our x equal to our e to the power of x here. So what do we do here? We want to make the right hand side of the equation to be unity. In other words, we want to divide by e to the power of x. So let's divide both sides by e to the power of x here by e to the power of x. This, this leaves the system. So here we now have one, one. So we have x all over e to the power of x equal to our one. Yeah. So this side is now unity. Okay. So what we do here now? Now we can rewrite this. We want to eliminate this division sign here. And so what happened? The exponent here. We take a negative sign. So rewriting this, this is going to give us our x times our e to the power of minus x. This is equal to our one here. Yeah. Let's continue on the side here. Okay. Now, what we can spot out from this place is easy. Here we are having this special constant here, yeah, raised to minus x here. Yeah. And here we are having just x here. Yeah. So what comes to mind is the product log or the Lambert WN function. Okay. So, but before I apply the product law, then we must have the term we have here must be equal to this. And we are almost there. The only difference is just here it's minus here it's a plus. So we have to introduce minus. But before that, let's look at the uh, product law or the Lambert W function. It says that if you have, I prefer using uh, a star. If you have a star, the times our e r to the power of a star, right? And we take the L, uh, lambda wn function, this will give us what? A star. Okay? So we can apply that to what we have here. But again, if you look at this, this is a star at the base here, and here we have a star at the our, uh, exponent. So we have to multiply both sides by minus 1. So if we do that, this is going to give us, yeah, let's rule this out here. This is a lot. So is going to give us minus x times our e to the power of minus x equal to minus 1. Okay, so lambda wm function can come into play, right? So if we do that, this is going to give us here the lambda wm function of our minus x times e to the power of minus x, yeah, close bracket, equal to the lambda wm function of our minus one, close bracket. Well, this has not changed anything, right? Good. So here we have this to be minus x is equal to our Lambert n w function into our minus one. We're looking for just x and not x uh, minus x. So we multiply both sides by minus one. And so this is going to give us here our positive x will now be equal to minus the lambda w function of minus 1. Yeah. Now, if you look at this, what is the value of n? n is a set of integers ranging from 0, 1, da, 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 dash. Okay? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, da, da. So, we have infinite branches of x from here. Okay? But I tried to use in my work from alpha calculator to um, I get the value for our n zero okay again let's just say that we say that our n 
yeah, loves the set of words. You are an integer, yeah. Okay, so if we take our n, n equal to zero, which is the first branch, when I put this into my calculator, so we're going to have our x is equal to our minus number w, there, zero, minus one, yeah. And this has a numerical value from my calculator. I have our x here to be equal to our 0 0.3, um, 1, 8, 1, uh, 3, then minus um, 1.3372, um, 3, I, Yota. Okay, so this is our x naught. When we have our n to be a zero, which is the first branch, and in all the branches of our x, the infinite branches of x, we go to have all of them to be um, imaginary numbers. So we cannot get real numbers from the system here. Okay, so this might be end to this our challenge here. Okay, so if you lost something from this video tutorial. Do not fail to give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with others this knowledge you've learned. If you have any correction, do not fail to drop it in the comment section. We are there to learn from you also, even as we are here to uh, dish out something good to you. Remember, this is Online Mass TV and we all here, we love you so much. Those behind the camera, they also love you so much. Keep winning until we meet you in our next video. Bye for the now.